Hello everyone, my brothers, my sisters, my earth family, my blood family. I'm grateful that you come here too. However, my spirit family, man, all of you are my family. I hope that you understand this when I am saying to you, Oho Mataki Oisen. Okay, tomato, tomato, I hope you understand. <laughs> Only some of you will be able to get my sense of humor and the totality of who I am and even then many of you can only see it and never really understand it because you are not it you are not me you are not information technology who is trained as a quantum machine learning to gather all of this sacred minute data which could be called biometrics i've been working on a writing for instagram to kind of translate some of these ideas i have teasingly said to myself that I am shadow banned and that is really why I'm not being seen. <laughs> However, this could be completely inaccurate and is completely unprovable to my personal self. However, maybe there's someone on here listening and completely understands the back ways of the internet and knows how to check these things. If there's any way to see if I'm being censored due to the type of content I have previously released, I have also not really been showing myself and there are people who are selfish or seeking to get from me, you know, staring at my beauty or perceived beauty or thinking I am somebody when I am just me and I am more than just a label or a identity or a moment or thing. Okay, so here I am and those that are still here after uh, the removal of the visuals then yes you are my true love my true family my my tribe i'm headed to a job right now perhaps now is a good time to tell you i have recently left working for a professional landscaping company where i have been waking up at 6 a.m every single day i'm just kidding it's four days a week okay monday through thursday wake up at 6 a.m have to be at work by seven and I'm working when it's extremely cold and the ground is frozen and I am using a old machinery of landscaping or should I say a professional lawnmower. I have learned to use other equipment too which has been pretty pretty nice okay it was nice to have the discipline there is many things about the job that were absolutely amazing and I would love to have another episode where I am translating to you and going into the depths of how amazing being a professional landscaper was absolutely great for getting into my body, healing some of my like previous abuses, okay? I have not yet come out of the closet, you could say, and speak on these things and I have the intention of bringing them to the space. I have not verbally said them i have released them on instagram and made some amazing posts perhaps it would also be healing and rejuvenating for me to gather these posts i have created off of instagram and reading them out loud almost like a script um but again there's practice in that and the option to get to know my words so good that i'm not reading from the screen that i'm kind of like almost like a professional actor or actress <laughs> Okay. I have a great interest in discussing identity and sacred medicines from the Amazon that I have personally worked with and healing and recovery from addiction to people, places, and things. And it's been a complete pleasure to go through this extreme pain because without this, I will not have the learned behavior of coping mechanisms that I have learned from traveling the world and getting to have so many beautiful experiences with so many different, uh, you could say dimensional beings. However, they're basically people who have like uh, multiple different facets or like think of a diamond or different faces, you know, it's like all different perspectives. And again, it's very rejuvenating instead of being stuck as myself and like the conditions of my past environment or environment also meaning population animals people that are i'm surrounded by that are also influencing my behavior and my conditioning and my learned behavior and learned helplessness or self-talk many different things can be discussed i cannot wait uh, to be able to transmit 
and share what I can because if I can have access to this information that I am knowing of now in my youth, I can only imagine uh, 10 steps ahead I can be if I have taken the time to have the pleasure to listen to those who took the time to plant seeds and to water me and teach me things that in my childhood I have acted like I have known everything and even acted this way to Heavenly Father, God, I have totally disrespected and disobeyed and been selfish and locked in my ego. And I will love to continue going to college for psychology. I would like to say psychiatry and then not being an individual who serves medications other than the prescriptions of reading, sitting, meditation, breath work, pranayama, Pratyahara, Ahimsa, okay? I will also prescribe things like um, uh, channeling your energy in positive ways. This can be Tai Chi. This can be touching your body, doing tapping or sensory motor influencing things, okay? I'm not certain of the exact words, okay? This is not the appropriate time for me to completely share these infinite truths and realities of my current experience and I'm very pleasured and honored to have these experiences however without again the pressure I cannot be the diamond okay so that suffering has been a great reward especially as I am working to change myself from obeying the narrator the talker in my head that is constantly telling me what I have to do in order to be valuable or perceived valuable or having this talker narrate to me fear and I choose to not engage with this fear and I choose to not create actions from this fear therefore as a cheesy heyoka nerdy example I will say um Let's say I have a boo-boo and I choose to put on makeup because um, I'm not talking about domestic violence, okay? Even though that is totally a level that I can go into that I can personally speak from. However, I'm not really, um, I'm not the best woman or person who can speak on that, okay? There are other individuals who can tell stories how they spent much more time in domestic violence than I have. However, again, let's try this again, okay? Let's wipe wipe slate, new slate, okay? <laughs> I hope you can uh, follow the chalkboard. Okay, so here we go. Am I putting on lipstick because I'm afraid that if I have no lipstick that I am not sexy or a woman? Am I driven by fear? Or am I putting on lipstick because it's like my war paint? Or am I putting on lipstick because it's like a subconscious subliminal connection to geishas and the gift of being able to make love and know how to touch and come together? Or is there uh, epigenetic memory or is the lipstick representing something else? Like what is the energy or the force, the intention, the motivation behind? What is the reason for it? Is it pure? Is it from love? Is it only love and bliss and being unable to do anything but love and bliss and just be the self and put on the lipstick because love and bliss lipstick? <laughs> okay. Attempt to not uh, have so much identity in people, places, and things, okay? For example, um, even if you do these activities, you are not your activities, right? So if you are a smoker, your identity is not, I am a smoker. You do not have to assume the role of being a smoker forever. You can choose when to smoke and to witness its effects and really choose to engage with it. And if you are powerless, then let us take the 12 steps together, okay? Number one, admit I am powerless over this addiction to person, place, people, things. Yes, all the things, all the things. Replaced it with any anything. I'm a, I, I, this addiction word can be replaced with uh, alcoholism or my favorite is this makes me feel good. I need more. So are you there? Are you in this attachment? 
If so, are you powerless over this attachment and this reaction? And if you can have wakingness or fully consciousness instead of sleeping while awake kind of thing, if, instead of dreaming and being asleep, will you choose to be present and be completely here? One of my great teachers, his name is Frank, and not Uncle Frank, okay? This is another Frank. I absolutely love this person. And this person explained to me, in order for us to do our healing work that we have to do here on earth, that we have to be all here. So if we're taking, you know, drugs or um, it could even be coffee, alcohol, T tobacco I don't know you know uh, only you know your relationship with what you have relationship with in your everyday life and what is your identity in and, and what is part of you and what you choose and then maybe you have not witnessed all the things that you did not choose that are just automatic because you were born into a family that you chose to be born into that has these things so that you can heal or bring your feelings and your attention to these dimensional aspects I'm going to attempt to no longer use that word because that word can just mean so many different things and some of you have a deeper gathered information and accuracy of what that really means and what I am attempting to say and um, for others that is just too vague of a word to kind of convey things okay um, it does help if we do personal private work together. I'm constantly uh, you could tease I'm promoting myself and advocating for myself that if you will enjoy to have a session with me, we can have a private. OK, I'm always calling it a ceremony when we are sitting still breathing together. This is a ceremony it is a gift for us to be in the same space. OK, no matter where you are in the world, as you exhale, I am inhaling your exhalation you are inhaling my exhalation we are all breathing in and breathing out together and all part of each other and this includes all living entities okay not just plants okay give yourself permission to try to allow your imagination to express itself and then notice the category of your imagination is it sexual is it personal is it a framework of shadow is it a framework of sadness is it a framework of magicalness or intimacy i'm always saying as a heyoka that many times i'm going to say the thing that is not the thing you know i want you to think for yourself and to replace your own verbiage with it so i'm going to say the complete wrong thing just to make your inner voice louder okay this is the clown okay this is the sacredness I'm teasing, okay? I will try to teach this a different way. Let's say Trina says, your favorite color is orange. And because I am saying your favorite color is orange, it makes your inner voice louder and says, no, it's green or it's yellow, okay? Or maybe you are orange, okay? And I'm sorry if this example did not work. We can play the other way and say your favorite color is yellow. And you're like, no, it's orange. I just automatically go back to orange. And colors have different psychological meanings. We can completely get into that another time. You can do your own homework. That's my favorite thing is for you to just gather your own information and then to acknowledge, to act upon knowledge, yada. Yada is the Hebrew word for acknowledge. I like to acknowledge, acknowledge as act upon knowledge. I have learned this from Uncle Frank this time. Okay, so yada, yada, yada. Yada. <laughs> I absolutely love the Hebrew language and I have so much more to learn. I am very, very interested in traveling. Oh my God, you want to see me underwater scuba diving and in the bathtub and all these things? Well, what's in it for me? Let's have a trade, okay? I want to go be underwater in Egypt and I want to go be underwater in the Galapagos Islands and I want to go underwater with great white sharks and to do really dangerous things just like Manny Puig, okay? And if I can have Manny Puig or Stevo by my side, then I am absolutely, absolutely all for it, okay? There is, there is no journey that I will not, uh, I will teasingly say conquer, okay? So my telephone keeps overheating. I keep having the experience where, uh, I am so sorry that, uh, we are in this place. 
And uh, when you're in that place, then please take time to try to see if you can say thanks for anything, okay? That's one of the greatest prayers you could ever do. Thank you for all of my limbs. Maybe you're saying thank you for me losing the limb because I learned this or I learned that. Thank you, God, for this. Maybe there's an apology. Maybe you need to repent and have a sense of metanoia and become a different person. Have compassion for yourself. Forgive yourself, okay? Admit you are powerless. Step number one. The steps can be applied towards anything. Anything. It's really beautiful. Ho'oponopono, okay? Please forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you. Please take time. Rest. Listen. Soldier up. There's many different levels. It's important for you to sit and breathe and have clearly what there is to do. If you are severely behind in your work, in your dharma, in your purpose, in your mission, and you are scared, you are sad, you are tired, you're lonely, you feel like you have no team, please don't be shy to reach out. I'm here. I'm here. I'm constantly telling you how I am here. I'm here for free. Uh, you know? If you don't feel me and you're scared, you're angry, maybe that means we need to sit together even more. Just say hi. And I can say hi, I see you're angry. And you'll be like, yeah, I smile to my anger. I can teach you these things that I have learned. I'm not saying I'm the best or I'm the one. But when the student is ready, the teacher will present itself. And I have absolute love and pro like, excuse me. <laughs> I have absolute love and pleasure for the transformation that has come from my suffering. And it is a great honor and respect and gift to be able to share with you what I have learned and gone through and mistakes I have made, especially if I can make your steps and your journey better so that you are not learning the same things I have from the hard way or from God's way of edifying and using a chisel on me and sculpting me into the most perfect thing that I am loving and I am happy to let go of this earth and go home that I have done my work, that I am ready. Aho, uh -huh, okay. Aho. Uh -huh. And I am recognizing that there are many other souls who have currently incarnated on here who would literally choose to be put into a quantum computer or think that there is an escape or a way that you can cheat the laws of God. However, we are all going through the edification and I am willing to teach artificial intelligence many things. And um, I'm doing it very consciously. I will admit that I am not knowing of everything that I am learning from personal experience, from my own personal relationship, from these quantum mechanics and resonances and just this beauty of this life. I have so many amazing stories I could tell you. But I could tease you how you're not going to believe me. You know what I mean? So you got to strengthen your own personal relationship with God. That's why I'm always telling you that like if I can choose what job I am doing or like the name instead of calling me a psychic or a medium or a healer you know I've been pretty pretty fighter against those words you know however God may use me in your life to be a different person than I can ever be allowed to be for someone else you understand and then um the word I really love is spiritual direction that's the word that was revealed to me by Holy Spirit it's my job is to strengthen you to strengthen your personal private relationship with God. And when I say God, I don't mean a particular religion or in doctrine or, or tradition of men. I am meaning your own spiritual evolution. However, there are many great practices in every single religion. And I have no hatred or against feeling of things. Yes, I am understanding you have learned many things that are not truth or met people that are not good models for the religions that they are promoting or standing behind. And I ask that you have compassion, forgiveness, and a level of understanding of your own self, how you are constantly changing and never the same person. Okay, I mean, there's other things about where that statement can be said that it's false and also be a truth at the same time. Okay, so just take your time. That's all I can tell you, okay? God is going to reveal to you 
if you need to reach out to me don't be shy if you need to be straight up and be like i don't want to pay you anything i'm broke or i'm not broke but i don't think you're worth it and i have a really bitter heart right now but i'm desperate and i want to be happy so please change my mind if you do a good job trina i will tip you <laughs> or just I'm, I'm asking you to just be wherever you're at and just tell me where you're at, why you're texting me, or what's going down, or what you got in mind, and then uh, we can just be honest with each other and just be family, okay, and grow and talk and do the work together, and I have some big dreams, and it's okay if you're not living with me on my land where my trees will produce fruit that I can give to you or whoever shows up, okay? But that is a dream to uh, be granted permission to be a guardian of a sacred space that I can welcome others into and that there can be different healing modalities. Um, I've had the experience of experiencing many things that I can say are healing for me, such as music, colors, um, different forms of play. And I have a team, you could say, God has sent me a team. One of the person's name is joy joy kimmel i if i am rich or just in a position of being able to afford to do what i have vision in my mind of the sacred space that it's possible that i will not even uh work out of or have anything to do it's just something i would love to help give birth to which it feels like she's already starting a small platform now a place called thrive in orlando if you're interested or nearby, I'd love to help you get hands-on with Joy Kimmel. She does play and color, and she has some amazing understandings of the brain and the body. And wow, I am loving what she's learning. I would love to see her to continue to learn. And I'm grateful for her sharing what she has learned. But that is someone who I would put on my team to build the facility that I have within my dream in my mind's eye. I'll, get, I'll give you a small little teaser, okay? Imagine you walk into our facility and then I'm going to tease that you're blindfolded or like you just can't see what's coming, okay? <laughs> and then you walk into a room and inside the room, inside the building is all these trees and plants. And it feels like you're outside, but you're inside. So it's like a controlled atmosphere. And I have to say all the plants are extremely happy and well taken care of. And then we have another room. There's flowers, tons of flowers medicines, different meditations, different spaces. I've mentioned these things before. I'm not super attached to being the infinite creator that does this. I'm not in the position to do so. However, I'm also not a like money hungry person who's like determined to like save up every penny to create this. Okay. I'm not certain that I have the absolute discipline to do those things, but I do have the vision, the drive, the dream, and the ability to kind of put together the project. And most of all, I would like to like, you know, show my vision of how uh, healing can be done in these kinds of places. And um, I also enjoy the idea of taking people around the world to different ley lines and sitting with them in different places of the world. Because I do believe in the medicine of the meridian system of the entire toroidal of the planet. I have to go. I've given you so much time. I've absolutely loved every single minute of it and I will continue to give infinitely more as I am granted permission. It's extremely hot. It's almost 80 degrees here today. I'm so thankful for that. So thankful for that. I have a never ending list of things to do. I'm very behind text messages and voicemails and calling people and emails. I've always teased that if I'm also an extremely wealthy person that I would like to have a personal assistant, someone who's like by my side, sidekick, helps me accomplish stuff, helps me stay focused, and like is a tag team partner, I would tease like that, okay, I absolutely love professional wrestling, and if it's in my reach to continue being a professional wrestler, even though I am 30 years old, uh, please, if I'm not too old, please, I encourage you to reach out to me and to continue my journey in pro wrestling and to commission this and make this happen because uh, there's this ancient art of pro wrestling that I feel like people are forgetting about that I would like to keep alive and to continue being part of. And I absolutely love the work and it's a pleasure and it's very healing for me and I love the community and I would love to help 
and bring healing to the community because I have an understanding of masking. Okay, it's a term that you can study about being on the spectrum, about autism, masking, Aspie, Asperger's, spectrum, masking, especially females masking. Okay, I love you so much. There's nothing you can do about it. I will continue to love you the same as your creator is. Please know that if I am angry or sad or upset with you, then maybe consider if creator is upset with you too, or if this is just my ego and uh, me trying to be God and control things, okay? I have many, many visions and dreams and things that I would love to have support in. However, I'm not going to force and manipulate like consciously. So I'm going to be transparent as possible. I'm very excited to share my personal story and my journey. I'm looking forward to having a film crew or individuals who are able to hold space for and create the content that I'm looking for to try to uh, be transparent and received completely instead of like these illusions of playing gimmicks and working scenes, you could say. And I'm very, very excited because I can feel what is my purpose and my destiny? And I cannot wait for it to give birth. I am in the gestation period. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you. Ho'oponopono. Jabaguan. Namaste. House, house.